We're here in Plaza Park in Ventura, San Buena Ventura, California. And if we go up high, what you'll see is, so Plaza Park, this is, you know, the sort of heart of downtown uh, Ventura. As we look uh, more inland here, you'll see the administrative home of downtown Ventura. So we have the Mission, we have the, the uh, uh, Juniper Stero sat statue, we have the main thoroughfare of the downtown business corridor, or the restaurants, all that kind of good stuff. San Buena Ventura Mission was established by Father Serra in 1782. Obviously, this area was occupied for thousands of years before by the Chumash. This is a popular spot near on, you know, on the banks, on the edges of the um, uh, Ventura River, what we now call the Ventura River. And this was a classic beach town. So as you look around, all this development has cropped up because of our proximity to the beach, because of our proximity to uh, water, nice flat area, etc. However, as we spin around and start to look towards the uh, ocean, you see a major uh, uh, fragmentation. So a lot of our classic Southern California beach cities have all the stuff we have here in downtown Ventura and easy access to the, to the beach, to the coast. They might have piers, they might have beaches, they might have other um, um, views from cliffs, etc but they're really attached to the ocean. Here in Ventura, we're really fragmented. So the big issue here is the 101 freeway, which you see right here. This was, uh, you know, originally this was the Camino Real, the, the, the trail that linked the missions up and down in, in Spanish California and then Mexican California. Um, and that became the, the basis for uh, various freeways, most recently, the 101. 101 was one of the first interstate freeways established uh, in the U.S., but, but particularly here in California. And what we did when we brought that freeway, freeway in, in the 1960s, in the, in, actually in 1960, we started construction of this section of the 101, improving it from the, the existing roadbed, and we created the modern freeway structure that we know as the 101 freeway, or the Ventura Freeway. In this part of California, we've, we've severed, in a very real sense, the connection between the ocean and the rest of downtown. So, of course, you can still get to the ocean, but you have to go under underpasses, you have to go in certain places, you, there, you don't have free access. So this notion of installation of freeways, which were driven by the Cold War, which were originally driven by funding to get troops and missiles and stuff to move around the country more easily, that really fragmented and destroyed a lot of neighborhoods around the country. Here in Ventura, it acted to really sever um, our, our easy connection with the coast, with the ocean. And it's an ongoing challenge. How do we still have this connectivity now that we like, but how can we make it um, easier to, to get across? We have the, the famous triangle area, which has essentially been an abandoned uh, 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 chunk of property um, in the wake of this uh, freeway going in. Um, and, and, those, and, and those challenges all stem from the fact that we haven't historically thought really well of all the downsides of some of our decisions. So a lot of times we have these zoning issues, we have these development pressures, and at the time they might seem like a good thing, but uh, they have uh, oftentimes unintended consequences some of which make the decision to, to, to do that action um, uh, maybe not worthwhile. So Ventura is a classic beach town, but one that's been hobbled by the infrastructure that's been imposed on it uh, well after the founding of, it, of the city.